we are connecting PN junction in reverse bias. When we say reverse bias, then negative terminal of the battery is connected with P type semiconductor and positive terminal of the battery. This is positive terminal and this is connected with N type semiconductor. Then this is known as reverse bias. After connecting, when we switch it on, what happens? See, what has happened is, this is minus and this is plus. Here, this minus, minus will attract positive, plus will attract electron to its sides. If we think in this way, then what will happen? Electrons move here, positive charges move here and the depletion layer gets wider. Wider. So what happens to depletion layer? In reverse bias, it gets wider. Depletion layer represent the resistance, the layer in which there are no charges no charge carriers so current cannot pass it it has to jump through it and if this has become wider then it is become more difficult for electrons to jump so the resistance has increased the resistance has increased the chances of flowing current have become less now so no current will flow here Another method of looking to it, there was a potential barrier created here. This is at a higher potential, this is at a lower potential, this is at a higher potential, this is at a lower potential and there is a difference. This difference is known as potential barrier because of this difference electron cannot jump here. So this is potential barrier and this is electric field that is potential gradient. If this is the width then these are the two points and this shows the height of the potential barrier. When this width increase, when this width increase due to this polarity then what will happen? Same is the gradient but because this distance has increased it is here and it is here. Now this height has increased. That means the potential difference V is equal to E multiplied by D. Here V is equal to E multiplied by D. Here this distance is a small. Here this distance is large. If the distance is large then V will increase and that is potential difference has increased. So this potential difference is potential barrier. For this electron, it was a little difficult to go here, but for this, it is impossible to go here. And impossible to go here, the current cannot flow. Now, if the current cannot flow, it has become a insulator. Again, here is the potential difference, potential barrier created by electric field in the junction. What is its direction? Its direction in this example is here right to left. This is the direction of V barrier. We have applied a potential difference plus on this side and minus on this side. So this is the direction of V applied. Now you see both the directions are in the same way. So what will happen? they will get added up. Both are reverse, so we can say. Both are same sign, opposite sign, so they get reverse. So the potential barrier has increased. In the forward biasing, what was there? This was minus, this was plus, this used to cancel it and it would have become conductor here. This is the barrier and we have applied in the direction of barrier. 
so the barrier has become higher here it was 1v now it is 2v if electron has to go here it has to have double the energy and it does not have so so it will not go here so this way potential barrier height has increased so what are the two effects in reverse biasing number one depletion layer widen so our resistance increase potential barrier become higher added by applied potential not possible for majority charge carriers to move across so they don't move and if they don't move what is this an insulator so current do not allowed so current is not allowed and now what it has become insulator so in reverse bias this act as insulator and the current is not allowed in forward bias this the potential barrier was finished it had become equal this layer had shrink to zero and there was a fast movement of the electric charges it would have become conductor in reverse barriers this has increased the barrier has become higher and it has become insulator it will not allow current to flow okay you understand this and now there is another thing that is also very very important to understand this phenomena is reverse current what is reverse current reverse current is a current flowing in this circuit in reverse biasing only that is why it is known as reverse current okay see in reverse biasing what is that current when we say this is a n type semiconductor the majority charge carriers are electron but there are certain minority charge carriers which are holes in this minority charge carriers are electrons now this potential barrier which has increased so much what is its effect on minority charge carriers the direction of potential difference is plus to minus here whether it is barrier potential or whether it is applied potential both are in this direction that means the total potential is in this direction and this positive charge very happily it will go from higher potential to lower from plus to minus so this goes very well here electrons always go against potential difference so electrons will go towards this positive plate and electrons will move here recombine with this so when electron goes from here another electron come from here when this hole goes here another hole come from here so what we see the positive charges from battery keep going here keep coming here how these positive charges these three holes have gone here so in place of these three there is a pull and three positive charges come here then again three go again three come from here again three go three come from here this you can understand the other way these three electrons go and neutralize them so there is a shortage of three electrons this becomes little positive and pull three electrons from here those three electrons these three electrons they have gone here so these three again go to this this three again go to this and a current electron go in this direction current goes in this direction but how much is that current this current continue how much is that current this current may be equivalent to one charge or two charge or three charge depending how many flow but cannot be four charges current five charges current why 
because this is the maximum number. And when it comes to majority charge current, how many majority charge carriers are there? Answer thousands. So majority charge carrier when we flow in forward biasing, that is in thousands of microamperes, but when we flow reverse this, the current due to this minority charge carriers, this is a very small current because their total number is less, the charge carrier is less and the current is made by NEAVD, this end. This is number of charge carriers and here number of charge carriers are very small. Now this current, which current? In reverse biasing made by minority charge carriers. This current is known as reverse current. In reverse bias, the majority charge carrier current is not allowed, that is the main current. But at the same time, a very small current keeps on flowing from plus to minus. A very small current keeps on flowing due to minority charge carriers. This is in reverse biasing due to minority charge carriers and we name it reverse current. So a reverse current keeps on flowing in the reverse biasing. So this is reverse biasing results. So for normal use, what we say, this reverse biasing current is very, very small. Say one upon thousand of the forward bias current. So for us, it is no current. In forward biasing, there is a current of 1000 milliamperes. In reverse biasing, all these are blocked and there is no current due to majority of charges. Therefore, we say current is not flowing. So, for diode, we have a general result. In forward bias, it allows current to flow. In reverse bias, it does not allow current to flow. At that time, you can make objection. Sir, there is a reverse current. Okay, there is a reverse current. For some time, please leave it apart. Where we need it, we will use it because it is very, very small in magnitude. But we will make use of it, sure. And those are very wonderful uses of reverse current. But generally, if I ask you with reference to majority charge carriers, Diode allow current only in forward bias, in reverse bias it does not allow current. So this we have to remember about the diode forward and reverse bias. Now when we increase the voltage what happens to current? That we can always show by a graph and that graph we call characteristic. So we have studied forward and reverse biasing and in the next lecture we will say we will see characteristic the graphs when we increase the voltage how what happens to current whether it is in forward bias or when it is in reverse bias thank you